The 1980s were full of ups and downs, excitements and disappointments, crisis and happiness. There are many issues and events dealing with the economy, culture, political players, and foreign and domestic policies. They will all be dealt with today. The economy was a roller coaster of ups and downs. In 1979, the government concentrated on making their decision to lower or raise interest rates depending on how much was being spent among U.S. citizens. The Federal Reserve introduced the monetary policy in the mid-1970s to try and end inflation. As the policy started to cause more inflation and the prices of goods continued to rise, the Federal Reserve refused to loosen the policy even though the economy was in recession. The reason for this was because people weren't spending the money that they had, so the Federal Reserve wasn't gaining any money. The monetary policy eventually caused more inflation, which caused the United States to be put in a deeper recession throughout the 1980s. In 1981, Congress enacted the largest tax cut in U.S. history. In late 1982, inflation started to decrease, and by 1983, inflation was gone, and the Economy Act, the economy had rebounded. In 1986, President Reagan signed into law the Tax Reform Act of 1986 which was one of the most far-reaching reforms of the United States tax system since the adoption of the income tax. The top tax rate on the individual income was now the lowest it had ever been in history. The biggest U.S. political player was Ronald Reagan. Reagan became president in 1981 as a Republican. He believed in federalism. One of his major foreign policies was the Reagan Doctrine. This opposed global influence of the Soviet Union during the final years of the Cold War. This acted as the centerpiece of his foreign policy plans. This also provided aid to anti-communist guerrillas and resistance movements as well as opened the door to potentially introduce capitalism in nations governed by Soviets. Reagan's main motto was peace through strength. He strongly believed in strength with the military as well. Domestic issues were very important to Ronald Reagan. Reagan stated that he did not want to do away with government, but that he would rather make it work, work with us, not over us, stand by our side, not ride on our back. Reagan also promised to restore public confidence. He said that restoring our nation's problems required our best effort and our willingness to believe in ourselves and to believe in our capacity to form great deeds. Reagan was committed to reducing the size and mission of the government, but he also realized how important it was to reach out to the Democrats as well as they, as well as they controlled the House by a large number. His first and big policy as, pre as president was the economic program containing tax reductions and tax cuts. An increasing issue as Reagan gained office was the AIDS crisis. Reagan nominated Sandra Day O'Connor to be the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court and the Senate gave their unanimous approval to have Sandra join. She was looked up to by women all around the country because she was the first woman to be sworn into Supreme Court as a justice. Pop culture of the 1980s is still one of the most unique time periods of all time. There are many other women t who continued to break the gender barrier in many different aspects of life during the 1980s. Geraldine Farrar was, was the first American woman attorney in 1984. The w first woman to reach space was Sally Ride in eight, 1983. Martina Navratilova reached the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament singles final 12 different times. This included nine consecutive years from 1982 through 1990. During the 1988 Olympics, Florence Griffith Joyner set the world record for both the 100-meter and the 200-meter sprint. Also, the Oprah Winfrey Show started in 1986 and lasted until 2011. Music was a very popular thing during the 1980s. Madonna, Michael Jackson, The Police, Metallica, Ozzy Osbourne, The Rolling Stones, Van Halen, Aerosmith, and many more were extremely popular for teenagers and young adults to listen to. MTV was launched in 1981 and showed its first music video, which was Video Killed the Radio Star by The Bugles. MTV also helped Duran Duran gain a lot of fame after exposing them on air. Not only was a, not only was music a very important part of the 1980s, but movies and TV shows also gained a lot more attention as the decade went on. Tom Cruise, Clint Eastwood, Eddie Murphy, Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer, Molly Ringwald, and Jennifer Beals starred in many different movies to gain their fame. 
The 1980s would not be memorable without its intense fashion statements. Girls wore shoulder pads, leg warmers, and made their hair big. Guys wore Bill Cosby sweaters, aviators, and MC Hammer pants. Bright neon colors also became a part of every young adult's wardrobe. As you have learned, the 1980s were full of life and interesting times. The 80s will always be remembered by the people who lived in it and always be studied by the people who didn't.